And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Residents of Fate. This game suddenly got very hard again edition. I'm Rose, make sure to visit second video games and second comment- I suck at video games and second commentary. We last left off. We're at the Grand Hall, and there's like all these enemies, which I think I'm just gonna run past. I mean, I've done that before. I've done that- this wouldn't be the first time that I've done that before in like a chapter. Uh, oh, that- that's right, that uses up, um, my bezels, and I want to keep those. So, let's just run. Like the traditional way. Ouch. 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 Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Switch over to Zephyr. Keep running. Why Why is it? It's like, I use Lian when I go through, like, chapters. Or when I go through rooms where, like, everyone's cleared out. But I use Zephyr for, like, other things. I guess it's because Zephyr is, like, the first person that we play as. Like, I have him, like, as, like, the leader, I suppose. So, oh, do we want to go this way or do we want to go the yellow way? No, this will this will lead. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Maybe we'll see. If it isn't, it isn't. It's no big deal. Uh, okay. Let's see. Our commando fencer, a couple of dogs, level fifty. All right, this room should be a lot easier. Knock on wood. I say that, but you know, there's always a possibility this room's gonna kick me in the butt. He's gonna kick me in the butt. All right, we'll see. Okay, we have like, oh my, these these dogs—they're repeat dogs. We have repeat dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's not good. You might say, "What's a repeat dog?" Watch my tells of a Vesperia playthrough. You'll, you'll understand what a repeat is. <laughs> what a repeat is is that there's more than one repeat. Repeat is repeat. There, there's no there's no more than just him and the repeat family. There is no repeat family, I'm just... I should probably just stop stop while I'm ahead. Ra rather while I'm behind, because I don't think that you that any logical person would be able to call what I'm doing ahead. Okay. Ouch. Ow, boy. Okay. Okay, so... Here's the thing. Leanne is very... Leanne is very low on, uh... Whatchamacallit right now? If we, if she gets shot, we're going to lose four bezels. Using this hero action is going to cause us to lose a bezel. So, like, if she were to get shot right now, we'd still have an extra bezel left. If, um, if she were not, if she, uh, if we were to do this hero action and then she were to get shot, we would be out completely, because that's just how this game works, proportional bezel losing and everything. We're going to have to take a risk. Oh, they are going straight towards her. Like, that guy is completely charged up on Leanne. That guy is completely charged up on, yep, yep. Okay, let's retry that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Maybe this might be one of those chapters where um, maybe there's one of maybe this is one of those chapters where uh, it might be better not to. Uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I was like, maybe since these enemies are so strong, there's no way we'd be able to like get them in one fell swoop. So like, maybe we should just like let them come to us. But nope. That that's uh. Clearly, it's just it was a it was a it was an it was a charging error on my end was the problem. Okay, we should get a bezel back from that. No, we didn't. But okay, we got an energy hex actually. All right. Let's see. Switch over. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Let's see who we're gonna attack this time. Okay, that guy is completely. Ah uh, no. Yep. Let's just let let's just let them attack Lian. Let them attack Leanne. Ah, well, whatever. You know what? Risk taker! Wanna be a risk taker? We'll target you. And maybe, if we're lucky, we can break your gauge. He's completely he's completely locked up on Leanne, which means that if we don't do anything, he's going if we don't do anything in this uh, chapter, or right now, if we don't like break his gauge or anything. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna hit Leanne. We're not gonna go into condition critical though, thankfully. Oh, he's not attacking. Okay, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not gonna go into condition critical because uh, we still have plenty of bezels left, which is good. Okay. So, okay, so this guy's kind of like charged. He's kind of like armored up though, so maybe it might be better to go for the fencer. Oops, I should have. Uh, okay, that was. Okay, now we're gonna lose this. Now we're gonna lose this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight until the bitter end, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I made a mistake already. <laughs> 
How could I be so foolish? You know, we're bas basically at the end of the game here, and here I am making new mistakes. Like not switching to Zephyr to leave the whatchamacallit like I wanted to. Vasherin... What even... Okay, okay, ouch. Oh, you... I have health items! Why didn't I try to... <sighs> I completely forget that I have health items for some reason. Like, I have all these health items. Like, you should see all the health items that I have. And I just never use them. Uh, we'll go with, we'll go for you again. I do, if we play our cards right, we should be able to do quite a... Hmm. No, I think... Well, let's try this again. We have so much money that, like, it's okay if, like, I... Tr I want to I wanna see something real quick. Okay, so doing it directly on top of them does, like, nothing for them. Like, like that barely protects them at all. I mean, like... They're very resistant to that, but if we do it like right there, that should be the sweet spot. Not quite, but, you know, if we were to do a hero action, have Leanne go, we should be able to break his shield, maybe. No, not yet. Okay, come on. Break his shield. Hmm, no, we're not going to break his shield, unfortunately. Because, you know, scratch damage just barely does anything, and... Zephyr doesn't seem to be shooting right where I want him to. <laughs> okay, there we go. That should actually break his shield, maybe? Will your shield break already? Ah, oh, come on. Break his shield already! There we go. Alright, let's see here. Okay, we're gonna be... Okay, so... Next order of business is probably the dog. The assault wolf. That's who we're gonna go for. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to spend this entire episode on this one room. That's always a possibility, ladies and gentlemen. That really is. I'm not saying that as a joke. I'm saying that out of all seriousness. <laughs> we'll see. Ouch. They just... The sword guys, like, they have limited range, but when they hit you, they do so much damage. I know that we barely have it, like, we only have one bezel left, but... It should be fine, because we can just break this, uh, this dog's shield and... Get a bezel back, and everything will be alright. Do some damage while we're at it. <laughs> or I could just skip this room too if I really wanted to. <laughs> Is that how it's gonna be? It's gonna be like, let's see. You know, like how like some people, like whenever they do like a JRPG series, like eventually they get to this point where they're just like, oh, I don't feel like fighting any enemies, so I'm just gonna like run past them all completely. And, you know. You know, eventually get like a Vice the Coward title. <laughs> no, but <laughs> good thing there aren't any titles in this game. Because I've run enough from enough battles that like I'd get like I get like Zephyr the Zephyr the Weak or something. So I'm always Zephyr when I run away because of. Hmm. Honestly, though, like if we can barely handle these like regular enemies, though, how are we gonna even handle the boss? I'm wondering that. Hmm. Is this gonna be like one of those bosses that I'm gonna spend like... I can't do a hero action, unfortunately. Let's see, he's targeted on Zephyr. They're all targeted on Leanne. Shoot while I can. There we go. Hmm. That, guy, that dog's on Vasherin. He's still... Oh, that dog's... Er, I called him a dog. That guy's on Vasherin too. Hmm. This is not a very optimum position, exactly, because, hmm, <laughs> you know, I could, if I really wanted to, I could do that, like, I could just, like, off-screen, like, after we finish this, like, off-screen, go back to this area, and switch everyone to, like, weak, to weapons that they're weaker, uh, weaker at, and then, like, level up faster. Mm, I might do that. Mm. That guy that guy is charged up on Zephyr. Be careful about that. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna run past this room too. Because why not? Alright, let's go to the red. Let's see what's over. No, the red's not the boss area though. Hmm. That's interesting though. 
I wonder why they suddenly got like so much stronger. Like normally, like um, like enemy like level progressions are like pretty progressive. Not really progressive, but what am I trying to say here? Normally, they're pretty like steady. But this one's like, okay, we'll just use level 30 for like the past like 10 chapters, and then randomly switch to something a bit worse. Oh, there's nothing in here. And there's a white area which we can leave. Mmm, I think I understand how this one works though. We're actually gonna have to go, like that one room that we went into at the very beginning. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna have to actually clear through that room to go through the yellow path, which I think actually leads to the boss. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Usually this game has a habit of like reusing places, uh, reusing areas though, so we're probably gonna go back to this next chapter maybe. Yeah, there's a grand hall. Yeah, I see now. I see how this works. So this isn't one of those like, oh, let's just skip past things. Oh, well, that's kind of a pain. Let's see, what are, we, what are we gonna do here? So, we're kind of in an awkward position though, so if I go back... We can always technically use an escape hex if we want. How many, how many of those do we have? We have seven. Eh, whatever. Who cares? We're in the last three chapters. <laughs> I don't think we'll have, we'll be in a situation where we'll have where we'll have to use like a. Uh... Let's go back inside. Where we'll have to use like six of those in the next couple chapters, but you never know. Okay, let's go back to abandon or. Er... All right, let's not fight these guys because they're freaking unstoppable. Hmm. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe should I? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It depends. I'd have to do like a mini grinding session, like in between this episode and the next one, and then like come back, and then cut, and then clear out that room, and then come back and start the next like episode properly, maybe. I don't know, because these dungeons usually take about 40 minutes to, uh, to go through. Alrighty then, let's see here. Our commando wall. It's mostly, I think it's mostly just their armor that's the problem. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the air, and there we go. That's not going to do very much for him though. Because, hmm, I wonder why that one guy we managed to like get like a full uh, charge on, but these guys not so much. Hmm. Okay, I, nope, that was a waste. Retry. Hmm. Alrighty then, let's see. Our commander assault. I'm concentrating so much right now that like. I'm so concentrated on this, like, I, like, normally I'd say, like, something to, like, break up the pace of the commentary a little bit, but I have, um, okay, is that really a wise decision, considering that these enemies are already doing so much damage towards us already? Hmm. We'll see. Almost hit it again. I almost hit it again. Switch over to Vasharin, or Zephyr. I will never get their names right. I will never get their names right. I can say this with confidence now since we're basically at the end of the game, and I still can't get their names right. Ah, uh, whatever, it's no big deal. Hmm. I still think I might have to do the clickbait approach. Oh, but there's too many enemies to do the clickbait approach, though. Ah, uh, this is kind of tough. And they do so much damage damage to us because. Ah, uh, okay. What are we gonna do here? Hmm. Our commando, oh go the our commando assault this guy. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know which was worse, the commando assaults or like the or like the swords or hmm. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Yeah, but you see, the gate is br the gate is closed. We have to go through that way in order to go where we want to go. So we have to, so we literally have to clear out these enemies, or else bow down to Stephen 
Uh, Mayflower. Or else. You might say, who's Stephen Mayflower? Why, he's only the person who invented the Mayflower back in 1232 for uh, France to go to... Uh, for France to go to Argentina. Yeah. Alright. Let's go this way. And... That's not going to do anything, though. Hmm. Let's try again. I'm gonna load. The, I'm gonna load the save after this episode is over, and then grind a bit, so I can be a bit more liberal with uh, spending money. Because I'll just start off with more money. Let's see. Let's try. Let's try a different. What call it? Hollow point. Oh yeah, these are just regular electrified rounds, though, so they're not going to be very effective. We only have five of those. Uh, I mean, having electrified rounds is better than nothing, I think. Go with you. You'll run towards me, right? Yes, that's perfect. That's not really perfect, because you're... Yeah. We can't run. We can't run very far, so... Hmm. Alrighty, then. I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, shoot you. Now is Zephyr jump into the air? Shoot you. That's not really gonna do anything. Yeah, this is terrible. Like I knew I was expecting it to be difficult. I was expecting it to be difficult, but not quite to the point where like I'm literally have no choice. I have I'm not standing a single chance against a single room. This is quite interesting to say the least. Mm. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Or what can you do? Or what are you gonna do? What's... What Stan... Do? Leanne is gonna end up... They're all charged at Leanne. We're gonna go to condition critical. Yep. Alrighty then. we we'll try again. At least everything only costs... Only costs 1500 to start over. That's not too big. Only costs 1500. You know, I wish that we could, like, I wish that, like, uh, like, we could, like, uh, that, like, we could equip armor to, like, give us, like, better, like, I mean, like, we have, like, like there are, like, small items that we can equip to, like, make us, like, less, like, re make us more resistant to stuff, but, like, we can't, like, we don't have, like, natural armor or anything, uh, unfortunately, to, we don't have, like, natural armor to boost up our defense, like, I believe that clothes are only there for cosmetic purposes. Which is cool and all, but, you know, that's like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Or maybe there is, like, a way for, like, close to, like, boost up your defense, and I just have been stupid and completely ignored it. That's always a possibility. Alrighty, then. I mean, I could always, like, if worse comes to worse, I could always, you know, um, just do like I did with that one chapter. Where just like everything was just too difficult, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna just do like side missions for now, and then um, I'm just gonna do side missions for now, and then uh, or what was I gonna say? I'm just gonna do side missions for now, and then you know just finish up the chapter in the next recording session. And you know, basically, since we're at the end of the episode now. Awkward pause. Once uh, you, once the next episode begins, this room will have been cleared up. No worries. We're not gonna we're not gonna start like we're not gonna start uh, we're not gonna start um, you know like where where we began this episode. Awkward pause. See you guys in the next episode.